Hey everybody, it is Tea Talk with your girl and I am back with a little bit of commentary before this evening ends. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. Um, as for me and mine, we kind of just stayed home and uh, hung out together. Um, we are just bought a house recently, so we did a little bit of home renovating today. At least my husband did. I kind of got to relax and just enjoy the day. But at any rate, y'all, um, let me first just say that all things on this channel are alleged and in my opinion. Yes, my opinion. But listen, your opinion is wanted. So please drop down in the comments and let me know what you think about this subject. What subject, you might ask? Y'all, I am here because today I ran across... Um, over, I didn't run across. I was over on the Silver Silver's channel. So listen, if you're not... Um, subscribe to her channel. You are missing out. She always got good information and she is just a doll. And by the way, she is my teacher. So if you are um, interested in creating your own YouTube channel and don't quite know where to start, please reach out to the Silva Silva and her prices are very reasonable and she will be more than glad to assist you. Now, while you're here, also don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel, tell somebody to tell somebody that I'm over here and we talking, okay? Y'all listen, I said I was over there on the Silva's channel. She did a, a few videos today, but the one video she did, she talked about the Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion. She ran a across a clip this morning and I'm going to read it to y'all so y'all will know exactly what I'm talking about in case you not subscribe to the Silva Silva. Now, this was on, I believe, Twitter, okay? And a user says, Love and Marriage Huntsville reunion was emotional. I think about it. Her tears were not about wanting him back. I'll bet you. And she at Melody Sharif. She was talking about the tears that Melody was crying. So remember at the reunion when Carlos King started to get all emotional and tell Martel he was worried about him, Melody was crying too. But if you remember, if you looked around, everybody was tense. Letitia was holding on to Marceau like she was scared. Like you could tell that something happened. So we all were insinuating that something happened and that either Carlos King or own production right, was keeping it from us because they wanted to protect Martell, okay? So Melody responds back and she says, not at all. What's funny is my favorite aunt just asked me last night, why was I crying, okay? When I told her what happened off camera between sets, that should have cost him his job. Let me just read that again. When I told her what happened off camera between sets that should have cost him his job. And I myself couldn't believe he risked his livelihood. She said, oh, got it. Then Melody says, been a woman, gonna keep being a woman. Y'all, who is protecting Martel Holt? And what happened between sets that this man should have lost his job? Did he threaten somebody? Did he push some stuff over? What happened and why are we protecting him? Why are we protecting him? Why are we on the reunion stage crying over this man when we, the Love and Mer Merge Huntsville viewers, have never seen you drop a tear for the woman who was left with four kids because he was running and slinging his ping all over the place? I didn't see you cry like that for Melody. Now I'm finding out you was crying because this man went off, which we all suspected, but now to really see it? Carlos King, you ought to be shamed of yourself. You 
ought to be ashamed of yourself that this man is still employed. And then to hear her in her interview with you yesterday in that exclusive interview saying she almost even quit the job because of him. And you um, act surprised like you didn't know. You act like you didn't know what happened. In reality, you do know because you were there and you know, and it was so bad that it brought you to tears. And it had Tisha and Marcel over there acting like they was really all in love, all on each other. Come on now. Somebody got to do something. Listen, millimeters activate. That's all I can say. If they don't want to do it, maybe you got to push their hand. I don't know. That woman shouldn't be going to, going to work feeling like she want to quit because you got this man out here acting like you're half crazy. Okay? Allegedly and in my opinion. Okay? Allegedly and in my opinion. I don't believe that she would have wrote that he should have lost his job. I don't believe she wrote that unless it was just that bad that he should have lost his job. Why is Carlos King and own productions, NBC Universal, whoever is behind own, Discovery Plus, why are you all allowing this man to run rampant and not do anything about it? When will enough be enough? Will you wait until somebody is hurt? I'm not understanding. If you know this man is a liability, why do you still have him working there? Listen, his storylines are made up in the first place because we know damn well he didn't go pay for that facial. So own or Carlos King pay for that. Y'all pay for that. He didn't pay for that day when wine, uh, uh, the last se season for now, he didn't pay for that. Y'all pay for that. So that means you're enabling him to be the man that he is. You're enabling him to make lives with his baby mama talking about y'all, the ones who created that whole mess he had. Y'all created a monster. And now you don't know how to put him to bed. What does he have on these people, y'all? He's got to have something. And Carlos King said himself last night, he never seen any reality show keep a husband on once a, a divorce has occurred. But yet, is that why he's doing this? So he can say he's the first to ever do it? But at what cost, Carlos? At what cost are you keeping this divorced couple on the show? Because I can tell you right now, if you get rid of Martell, the show will keep moving right along. But get rid of Mel and see what happens. That show going to flop. I don't care how many millionaires you bring on the show. Just because you're a millionaire don't make you have that it factor to be a reality star. And the millionaire you got already blew her first uh, her first storyline because I already know she was acting when y'all was when they was talking about having them babies. That was a whole act. So do better, Carlos. Do better with who you bring on the show and do better with Martel. Maybe, maybe you need to get him off the show. Because this is ridiculous. We all suspected it, but nobody nobody knew what really happened. But now we know something really happened. Something really happened, y'all. This is not good. It is not good. I'm 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 irritated to even find this out today. I'm irritated to find out that not only did something happen then, but something can happen again. Because you still got him working with her. Right? She couldn't even go to Kimmy's party without him. Uh, uh, did you pray? Did, did you pray? Did you pray? Did you pray at the time I told you? We, we needed to be praying at the same time. For what? You ain't want to pray with her when you was out sleeping around. Now you wanted to pray for you. I'm still blown by that. You asking that woman to pray for you. Man, if you don't get a grip on your life and stop acting so simple and go on with your life. you Listen, you made a choice, Martell. You made a choice. You didn't want mail, right? That's what you want to tell everybody. Let's go with your scenario. You divorced Mel. Let's go with that. Mel didn't divorce you. You divorced her. We're going to go with that story. Then why the hell you still bothering her? Why are you trying to take her to court for kids when y'all splitting the kids 50-50? Oh, that's right. Because she won't do what you said. Because she won't keep the kids away from her own brother. Right? Or is it that you afraid that she going to get a new man? And that new man going to be around your kids. 
It's coming to a theater near you, baby. It's coming real soon. I can see it now. Oh, boy. How you going to feel then? How your Martellians going to feel when you go off when you see Melody? Because they swear Melody wants you. And you don't want Melody. Oh, what are the Martellians going to do when they find out the truth? Grow up, Martell Hope. Matter of fact, you should resign before you get fired because you're going to do something else dumb. Thank y'all for watching. Please like the video. Share the video. Comment down there. Let me know how you feel. Maybe you think I'm tripping. Let me know. I'm going to go ahead and leave the text, though, at the end so you can read it, okay? Happy Easter to you. Have a great rest of your Sunday.